So this is a, a virtual protein purification uh, software. It's a very useful training exercise. Um, I spent some time with it, understanding the uh, basics. But uh, I'm going to uh, edit down for the sake of this animation. There are several uh, levels of uh, mixtures, protein mixtures. Have a look at the easy one first. There are three proteins in this one. Just go for protein one. Some information there about uh, pH and temperature. So it would be better to look, work at a lower temperature. Um, let's have a look at it in page. Three proteins there. Two with the uh, mass of 20k kd and an isoelectric point about 7.5, 7.4, something like that. Try and identify which is protein 1 with immunoblot. So it's that one. So an isoelectric point of about 7.4 and a mass of about 40 kd. Uh, go back to that. So I think the first separation um, we could try um, ion exchange, which of course uh, separates on the basis of charge. There's a lot of information here, huge amount of it, and I worked all the way through it. And having done all that a couple of times, um, I settled on cellulose with a pH gradient. And that's not too far off its isoelectric point, so I believe that. So identify where it is. So I'm going to separate out everything between 10 and 30, I think. Let's see what that does. Okay, that was quite expensive. Let's see what we've got. It hasn't reduced it. Well, it's reduced it by a third. So let's see what we have. Uh huh. So that's um, separated them. I think we need to go for um, gel filtration. Again, there's lots of info here. And having worked all the way through that, uh, I eventually settled on uh, either the Cephidex works for this, should work for this. <laughs> Let's identify where it is. And this time I'm going to separate between 50 and 65. 65. Okay. Ah, oh, well, yes, okay. So that's that's made quite a difference, but very expensive. Let's see what that looks like. Well, there it is. But there may have been a better way of doing that because that's quite expensive. Mm. So that's the uh, the simple mixture. Um, if I go for the complex mixture, uh, I'll stick to protein one. There's 60 here, look, so I'll just stick to protein one. Same information about protein one. Uh, 959 milligrams. So there's a lot of large protein mixture there. And it's presumably somewhere around there. Okay, isoelectric point is 8, just over 8. And 
a mass of about 55 kd. So um, I'm going to go for iron exchange again to try and move most of this lot. And having gone through all the information, I took uh, first time, first few times I did this, um, it, it took quite a few goes to get it right, but this is the basic route that I, I settled on in the end, using DEA cellulose with a, um, a pH gradient. Take that up close to its isoelectric point of the target. Okay. And I say the enzyme activity. So I'm going to remove everything between 10 and 30. Okay. That's made a big difference. That's what nearly an 80% 80, 80 drop and not very expensive. So see what we have. Good. It was that one, I think, isn't it? So um, I'm going to try um, on size now, try and move these ones. So uh, that would be gel filtration. Uh, Cephadex again. Okay. As I say, the enzyme. Pull between those figures of uh, 40 and 60. That's come down a long way as well. It's still very cheap in laboratory time. Hasn't moved as many as I thought. Okay, so I'm going to try something else. Um, affinity chromatography exploits binding for specific groups. Um, I'm going to have a try at that. This is where expertise and insight would, would play have a big part to play, but uh, I really am just guessing. Just take the first two and see what happens. Uh, there is information here, of course, which I read through, but uh, I forgot. <laughs> Um, I am just, just guessing about quite a lot of this stuff. Okay. Right. Good to take away 40 to 60 again, just over 40, but call it 40. And see what that does. So that was quite expensive. But there's virtually nothing left. That's, that's, that's less than one percent, isn't it, of the original? So, aha, uh -huh, there it is. Um, all, what was it, seven point five? Seven point five milligrams of target protein. I think the point about this is that um, using. Um, this sort of information would would come with time, with expertise and insight. Um, but getting this algorithm together uh, took about a week. Having having run through it now in, in real time in about five minutes, that's condensed it down from about a week's work to get that far. Okay.